It is one of the fastest growing theft crimes in the country with the target hidden to most of us. Catalytic converter theft is accelerating this year. Fox's Mills Hayes joins us live now from St. Paul with what police are doing and how this crime is changing everyday life for people who have fallen victim to it. Mills. Yeah, Randy, catalytic converters are a part of your exhaust system. They help control emissions, but they also contain a lot of precious metals that criminals can sell for a lot of money and can cut out of your car within seconds. Now, they sell those to scrap yards, and if you have to replace that converter, we're talking hundreds, if not thousands of dollars to replace it. There's definitely been an increase on the theft of converters. Technicians at Quality Care Tire and Auto are getting ready to add some protection to this catalytic converter. None of these steel cables were on here, or these bolts will hold the steel, you bolts will hold the steel cables in. Owner Tim Samlin says people can spend a few hundred dollars on this system to deter would be criminals, or they could spend a few thousand dollars to replace their converter. It's just not the converter, they do a lot of damage to the car. Car owner Chris Zug had his catalytic converter stolen twice in the past year. It is a life disruptor, it is costly for everybody, it is uh, very frustrating that this is going on. I'm, I'm going out a lot less, I, you know, I'm a lot less trusting where I go. It's easy to be watched and scouted and in five minutes have this kind of thing happen to you. Police in St. Paul have reported a nearly 20% jump in catalytic converter theft compared to this time last year. Minneapolis police saw a 38% rise. Dallas has seen a 20% increase in Philadelphia. Police have seen a 172% increase. Yeah, we're only three and a half months into this, three months into this, and we're already up about 19, 20% in our catalytic converter theft. So again, we're trending in the wrong direction and we're hearing from people that they're frustrated, um, they're angry, and they want somebody to do something. Police say it's hard to hold criminals accountable. I've read police reports and heard stories of our officers pulling over a vehicle and they have four or five, six catalytic converters in the vehicle along with the sozzle, but because we can't prove that they necessarily stole the equipment, um, we can't we can't arrest them under current law. Minnesota's Department of Commerce has partnered with police departments and car dealerships to tag those catalytic converters so they'll be able to track them and arrest those who have stolen them. And here at the legislature, we know that they're already discussing if there is any kind of bill that can help with this issue. Mills, I gather from that uh, U.S. map, you show that there are other states looking to crack down on these thefts as well through new laws. What are some others doing? Yeah, Randy, Oklahoma, California, and also Washington have introduced legislation. They're not the only states as well, but specifically that bill in California, it would make it a lot harder to sell those converters. It would mark every single one of them with an identification number, and it would also increase the fines for stealing them. All right, Mills Hayes right there in St. Paul for us. Thank you, Mills.